And let's turn our attention to this recent policy of the federal government banning students below the age of 18 from writing the West African Examination Council and the National Examinations Council. Some commend the decision, while others describe it as an anti-people's policy. Stevenson News, Helen Osamide Aikens has more. Those modalities and uh, processes of which... Earlier a week ago, the federal government announced that individuals under the age of 18 will no longer be allowed to participate in National Examination Council and the West African Examination Council. The Minister of Education, Tahim Mama, declares that the policy is not new but has been in place for some time. The Nigerian education policy recommends that a child should start at the early stage of education from aged 0 to 5 years, primary school from 6 years old, the junior secondary school from 12 to 14 years, while the senior secondary education should commence from 15 to 17 and tertiary education is expected to begin at age 18 or older, depending on their academic progress and other factors. These age recommendations are made to help structure the education system in Nigeria, ensuring that children progress through the different levels of education at an appropriate pace. Over the years, this policy has been pushed aside due to the proliferation of private schools as children below 15 years now graduate from secondary schools. In a bid to set the record straight, the President Bola Tunibu's administration, through the Ministry of Education, has been very vocal on the need to follow the existing policy on recommended age. So as we are approaching, we that pronouncement by the Minister of Education seems not to go down well with many Nigerians. Emmanuel Kodo is a father of three whose daughter graduated from the university at age 21. He is opposed to this decision, saying it is not a well-thought-out policy. In this part of the world, we have um, um, married women who are less than 18 years old. Are we saying a girl child is good enough to be married but not good enough to be schooled? I wrote work at, at um, less than 17 years old and that was many years ago. So are we progressing or we are retrogressing. But on the contrary, Olushola Bankole, an educationist, commends the federal government decision, believing it will go a long way to reshape the country's education system. Talking about the need for children not to be hurried through school. It's becoming a an hydra-headed monster in our education system across Nigeria, such that we don't even have Primary six in most schools. I embarked on a fact finding mission to discover how other countries handle similar policy. I spoke to some Nigerians who are resident in the UK and America. Yet today, Kamsi is an educationist, an accomplished professional in education, child protection and safeguarding, a curriculum and policy development expert who shared insight on the United Kingdom's education system. You can't take a child in to primary school unless they're five. So there's no way a child would finish um, their schooling before the age of 16. There's a pro do you understand? There's a process in place. There's a process in place in the UK, of course. Schooling is compulsory between the ages of five and 16. If you don't send your child to school, you could be put into prison. But the official year is between five and six. But in Texas, it is mandatory that a child start school at six maximum. My quest for more insight made me visit a clinical psychologist to know if there are psychological effects on a child that begins schooling at an early age. The child start dealing with um, identity issues, start forming their own identity at the beginning of, um, you know, their teenage age, right? That is where you start seeing them mingle with more friends, you start seeing them going out of the shadows of their parents, you start seeing them locking their room, want to have their own privacy and all of that until that developmental task is successfully resolved. If you throw the child to um, further pressures from tertiary education, you further confuse that child because the identity is not fully formed. Again, like I say, throwing the word of caution, you can't be blanket because there are individuals who, even though they get to uh, school very early, they've shown to be exceptional 
in terms of their intelligence and you can deprive them. This education is to want the policy to begin from this September as the call on the government to ensure that schools do not admit pupils under the age of five. We need to even be empathetic with all the stakeholders. The government wants to do right. What age is government recommending for a child that is coming into primary one this September to enter? We'll be able to resolve this problem. Schools are so expensive. Nobody wants to go into primary six because they want to cut off that one year payment of school fees. Who is helping them with that? At the end, the nasals between the policy and education is, is that exceptional children should not be deprived of the opportunity of being educated at an early age, especially those who can cope academically and psychologically. Should this policy be allowed to stay, there are fears that over 80% of graduating students from our secondary schools may not be able to write to work or NECO as they are mostly below age 18. Helen Osamede Ekins, TVC News, Abuja.